Alrighty, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We're off location, but that means we can't do a good beer review. So let's check out Napoleon Complex. This is uh, from Wicked Weed out of Asheville, North Carolina, one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, volume uh, cities in the country right now with micro beer, micro breweries, um, the explosion of craft beer. Um, Wicked Weed makes some phenomenal, phenomenal beers. They're always kind of pushing the envelope, experimenting with different things, but they're usually right on the mark. They're hard to get. They just started distributing on the East Coast um, in, in six packs uh, for things like this. It used to be only in kegs. Then they started doing these cool, um, what I call almost mini, mini bomber bottles uh, with Freak of Nature and things like that. But awesome brewery. They, their beer is always really fresh. It's, um, it's, it's different. So... I've only had this one time. It was on draft. It was several months ago when they first came out. They did a tap takeover that I was able to go to. So I had a pint. I remember it being just, just tasty, pretty good. So they call it a hoppy pale ale. It only comes in at 5%. So it's a pretty low ABV. So they consider this an American um, IPA. Um, the six pack, I think, was actually only like $12 or $13, um, which for their beers is cheap um freaking nature and their their bombers like only seven bucks which is still very inexpensive but um it's got a real light color to it very very filtered kind of a thin thin head on it but a very light kind of almost yellow color to it um i definitely don't remember that i had it in a, in a uh, plastic pint glass outside so the aroma is what I remember. Real fruity, citrusy, grapefruit, lemon, mangoes. Um, just a lot of lot of fruitiness to it. Nice kind of hoppy flavor, kind of on the the citrus side is what I would guess. Um, um, very very nice aroma. One of the better beers. And I, I mean, other beers. I don't know how they do it, but they they just have that really fresh um, kind of pop to them. Um, I'm on the East Coast, they're on the East Coast, so I know I get them pretty fresh, but um, I don't know if there's a date on here. So yeah, this is really fresh. Um, this beer is less than three weeks old, so, but it smells like it. it it's, it, their, their aromas are awesome in all their beers, so cheers, let's get into it. Exactly what I remember. Kind of, it's got this almost pineapple-y flavor to it. It's got this kind of real tart sweetness to it and then this pop of this just real fresh hot flavor. Um, it's not overpowering. It's not something that, you know, overwhelms you or explodes in your mouth like freaking nature. Now, that beer will do that to you. But it's just got this real nice kind of, kind of just refreshing um, mixture of fruitiness. Um, it's got a, a little bit of that kind of, um, um, kind of crackle to it is what I call it. Um, it just kind of makes your mouth kind of have a little bit of zing and a little pop. Um, good quick finish, nice and clean. Um, easy, easy to drink, no bite to it. Um, I don't know the IBUs, but I would guess they're probably in the range of the 60s. It's just enough, but it's not too much. Um, this is a great beer. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fan of the brewery, so I admit I'm gonna be a little biased, but. You buy this beer in the, in the spring, the summer, the fall, it's hot, you're outside, you want to just a, a refreshing beer and you don't want a macro beer, this would be awesome. If they put these in cans, this would be a huge hit at the pools, the beaches, the cookouts, the lake, and all that stuff. I mean, it's just easy to drink, great combination of flavors that complement each other, nice citrus to it. Nice fresh hops to it, perfect finish. Um, I would give this at least a four and a half on a rating scale between one and five. I mean, it borderlines for me for a five because I think in the pale ale market, there's a ton of pale ales out there that shouldn't be out there. It's a popular market for people kind of breaching into the IPA market. And I think even people that don't like IPAs that are trying pale ales be fans of IPAs after this one and, and be able to springboard into that, that IPA market, um, which is so popular. 
So it's a great beer. I mean, it's exactly what I remember. I only had 16 ounces of it before. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with it then. Um, it's just drinkable. It's very well balanced. It's a great beer. It's brewed extremely well. So uh, love it. Get it. Try it. Napoleon Complex. Let us know if you tried it. Leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website. We upload all the time on Facebook or on Twitter. We appreciate if you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we upload often. And we will see you again real soon. Cheers.